Welcome back to Linux for everyone and welcome home. This is another installment of Will, Will It Linux? Linux. I don't know why I looked off in the in the distance. Uh, this is of course the segment where we check out newly released or popular games and let you know how well they run on Linux and if they need any tweaking or customization and, and basically what you can expect with the hardware that we tested on. And yes, folks, it is finally time to check out Hideo Kojima's immersive, gorgeous, post-apocalyptic Amazon delivery walking simulator Death Stranding. Like many installments of Will It Linux, today's video is made possible by community member Steven Reeves. He uses Gentoo, by the way. He thoroughly tested the game and also helped me out with the script. Anyway, thanks a ton, Steven. And you guys go give him a click uh, right down here on his Twitch channel. In addition to Tuxedo Computers and our friends in the community, Linux for Everyone is also made possible by Linode. If it runs on Linux, you can run it on Linode. They have multiple distros available, including Ubuntu, CentOS, Alpine, and Arch, by the way. They've got multiple server plans to make any app or service flexible and easily scalable. You can use a Linode server to easily set up a WordPress-powered website, your own personal VPN, a dedicated Jitsi or Minecraft server, and much more that you can get installed with a single click. Linode has 24-7, 365 support available by phone regardless of your plan size, so you can get help from a real person when you need it. Right now, Linux for Everyone fans who are opening a brand new account can get a $100 60-day credit by going to linode.com slash Linux for Everyone. Linode's been doing cloud computing since 2003, before Amazon even entered the picture. So they're not trying to take over the retail world like other companies. They're just focused on good old fashioned, Linux loving cloud computing. Go to linode.com slash Linux for everyone to get started building your new project. It's where we host all of ours and we're proud to call them a longtime partner. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Your mission in Death Stranding is to rebuild the infrastructure of the United Cities of America in a world plagued by ghostly creatures who roam the earth feasting on the dead. But the scariest part, especially as someone who walks the land for a living, is timefall. Rain that rapidly ages whatever it touches. This game is beautiful. The atmosphere, soundscapes, mechanics of Death Stranding all complement each other to present this grungy, bleak, and desolate world as a game that's actually really enjoyable. Most of the time, Death Stranding is a walking simulator. You have to manage weight and balance as you climb mountains, hop over rivers, and sprint across flatlands. It's a little grindy, but walking is so challenging then when you plan out your path, you feel this sense of enjoyment for finally reaching your goal. This is even before you're given points based on how short your path was. Incredible. How'd you get this here? You fly? Just as soon as you get really focused into just walking, these creepy, barely visible ghost things called BTs, they pop out and you have to either sneak around them or sprint away from them while managing your breath control. If you get caught by the BTs, your cargo gets scattered or worse, you die. The online functionality is a nice addition. You don't see any people, but if somebody places a bridge over a small creek, you can use that bridge in your game. It's interesting how this game is so isolated, but still has a strong community feeling. And this helpful online component works just as intended on Linux. Now, we know Valve is working their butts off to ensure Linux can run the entire Steam library someday. But for now, we have to ask the all-important question. Will, Will it Linux? Linux? Steven played Death Stranding on his Gentoo system, which rocks an Intel i7-4790K and a Radeon Vega 64 GPU. He says it worked great right out of the box using Proton GE, uh, but we can both confirm it runs fine with Proton Experimental as well. Playing at 1440p, Steven saw between 50 and 60 FPS on high settings. No glitching, no crashing, no tweaking. 
to get the game to run like a dream. I'm doing a separate video on gaming with the six-year-old NVIDIA 980 Ti in 2021. So I decided to take Death Stranding for a spin there as well, since I already had the game loaded up on my Thaleo. With a modest Ryzen 5 3400G and the GTX 980 Ti, I got less than 30 FPS at 1080p with low quality settings. I had to end up bumping it down to 720p low quality to hit at least 30 to 40 FPS, but it is at least playable on pretty old hardware. And a fresh install of Ubuntu 2110 didn't require anything extra to get the game up and running. So it's another great success story for gaming on Linux and certainly a game that is well suited to play on the Steam Deck. Are these things available yet? I really, really want mine. Anyway, uh, thank you so much to Steven for recording the majority of the footage here and taking great, great notes and sharing his personal thoughts on the game with us. And I want you all to know I do see and totally understand the comments you've been leaving about, uh, hey, let's, you know, let's get outside the Steam bubble a little bit and do some Lutris, do some epic games. So I just want you to know I will, I will slowly start working my way in that direction as well. Anyway, thank you so so much for watching as always and until we chat in the next video you guys take care take care of each other and get your game on Ooh, yeah. oh.